Hello everyone, this is APC by Schneider Electric, a UPS for serious gamers. I'm Christian Enriquez, I am the Global Product Marketing Manager, and today we have a co-host, the YouTuber, tech influencer, the awesome Austin Evans. Please, for those who don't know you, introduce yourself. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me. So yeah, so my name is Austin Evans. I have been a YouTube content creator around the tech and the gaming space for coming up on 12 years now. Mm -hmm. And while I've been to many CESs, wow. I've got to say this is definitely the most unique, but I'm very happy that we at least have a CES to, ha to go to this year. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited too. I know I know 2020 has been an unconventional year, um, but I think it's great how a lot of companies are, are moving around to still accommodate things. Um, like you said, I'm very happy for CES to be coming out, and this is fun. Thank you so much for, for joining us here for, with APC by Schneider. Uh, so do, do you want you you know, to start? Do you want to get into a little bit uh, with um, what's going on in the gaming world and trends now with, with the unconventional year? Yeah, so I think it's interesting because when you look at the way that the tech industry and the gaming industry has shifted over the last 12 to 18 months, what we're seeing is a lot more emphasis on, first of all, a lot of brand new hardware, right? So you look across last year and going into, especially into 2021, we have the launch of the brand new PS5. We have the Xbox Series X and the Series S. We also have an absolute avalanche of great new PC hardware, right? From the processors, the graphics cards. I mean, the PC space is huge right now. And specifically the gaming PC space, I think is really, really big. And what's interesting to see is that all of this is also tied in with the fact that all of us are spending a lot more time at home, right? So before, if we were having this yeah. sort of conversation at last year's CES, there would have been a lot of talk about gaming and how that's, you know, the primary thing that you do at home and well, that's obviously true for a lot of people. I think there's also an element of working and sort of doing school from home that also gets kind of blended in at the same time. Because if you think about it, all of this tech that we're using on a regular basis has multiple sort of purposes to fill, right? I'm sitting at my desk and I'm playing a game of Overwatch. And then five minutes later, I may need to jump yeah. on a, a Teams call or a Zoom call or something, right? And I think that's a fundamental shift in the way that all of us are using technology now that we have not only thankfully, a lot of really great stuff to do it with. But importantly, we also have a lot more things that we have to do with the technology in our lives. Uh, and I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, we are, we are spending more time at home. We are spending more time with our electronics and if people are working from home, uh, you know, obviously gamers, there's more time in the past year, like you said, there's been a huge increase, even gamers, right? There's, uh, there's more gamers online there because there's not much to do. But it's also important that with that upscale, the new GPUs and new CPUs being purchased, a new Series X and Series S coming in uh, that came out, and also as the PS5, there's a lot of expensive equipment coming in. And uh, we're being more, yeah. more you know, reliant on these electronics, right? So it's important. Power is important, right? And I I'm curious. Uh, have you have you been affected by a power outage or anyone you know has been affected by a power outage? Oh, of course, yeah. So first of all, I grew up in the Midwest, right? So I grew up being very used to, you know, the yeah. power dropping out multiple times a year with like thunderstorms and tornadoes, right? Like that was just <laughs> normal. I mean, I yeah. didn't have anything like this yeah. back when I was growing up. So, you know, if my PlayStation went down when it sort of there's some thunder outside, oh, well, too bad. You know, I'm going to go... Uh, read a book or something but these days thankfully things have evolved and of course the tech has evolved with it right so i now live in california which is a place where we currently have a lot of issues with things like blackouts and brownouts and whatnot and the thing is it's important to have like you said not only the protection but also the continuity right because back when i was playing on my original playstation if it died yeah i might lose some save file but like it's not the end of the world but the thing is if you're in the middle of a game you could actually have serious consequences by getting dropped out because no one realizes that you're not rage quitting that you didn't just pl pull the plug right and this can happen even right, without right, these environmental yeah. factors so actually not too long ago my wife and i were gaming in the same room on our pcs she turns on her heater and that heater was enough to trip the entire circuit and the entire room went down both <laughs> of our systems. Thankfully, the hardware was fine um, and it took me a while yeah, to figure yeah. out what had actually happened. But 
importantly, if we would have had something like this, it wouldn't have been an issue at all because we would have had at least some level right. of continuity so that the systems would have stayed up for a bit. And that's yep. something that I think is important for all kinds of uses and gaming being probably my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and mine too. And speaking of gaming, we are gonna, for everyone that is watching, Austin Evans has agreed to play Overwatch with me. So we're gonna have a little treat. We're gonna be playing a game live for you. <laughs> And uh, while we're in queue, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about gaming, right? Um, and how, like, like, and like Austin said, you know, power outages is the thing. It can affect, and it's not. And I want to build upon it a little bit, right? It's not just, it's not just a thunderstorm or a lightning storm or, or a blizzard or, or a tornado, but it could be, you know, a roommate plugging in a heater, right? It could be, it could be my fiance turning on the hair dryer. It's like it's a brownout, right? A brownout, even yep. even a brownout is for, for for ones that don't know. It's like a little like a little dip in the power, right? It's it, you you've noticed that when you're in your room and you hear, you see the flickers, the lights dim or flicker on and off. That is enough to literally cut your router. That's literally enough to cut your router. And you're like you're in a game. You're like, what? What just happened, right? And and some, something like that, as simple as that, could could disconnect you from a game. And you know, unfortunately, yeah, there are car accidents. Uh, that that you know knock over a transformer you're out for hours uh unfortunately i love animals but like especially wildlife they can get into you know into electrical conduit systems that that you we have no control over and unfortunately they can cut up cut the power and and that's the thing that i i, I like i want to speak to is that it will happen when you when you least expect it and right now that we're more reliant yes. on gaming um and there's more, you know, great gamers out there that are trying to become more pro. They're taking it more serious, and they're being more competitive. Uh, we 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 want to induce a, a, a UPS on the market. And now, and now, Austin, are you, how familiar are with the UPS if if you are at all? Yeah, of course. So actually, we've had. Uh, one of the APC units actually in our server rack for almost two years now. And it's obviously something like, this is not brand new technology, right? I mean, this is something that has been well-established in a lot of fields. It just hasn't really been brought to the gaming space, right? So for example, right now, especially here at the office, it is much more prone to a lot, of, like you said, like the brownouts and the blockouts that have happened over the last like year or so. And the thing is like in the server side, like we obviously need to make sure that is up and running, not only to keep all of the very expensive hardware in the rack running, but importantly, that's also always being yeah. accessed by like editors and stuff like working remotely and whatnot yeah. you take that same right, kind of right. technology and you bring it to the home space it makes a lot of sense right because not only are you protecting your yeah. gear which is always important when you're buying that new ps5 or your pc or whatever but again it's keeping yeah. your actual continuity of keeping things running right and i think that's so important because it's just an easy thing to overlook. Oh, you just plug it in, call it a day. But it's not that simple, especially as these things, like you said, there's so many random things that could happen from a little gerbil chewing on a wire to someone plugging in a hair dryer uh, to an earthquake. You never know, right? You always want to have some kind right, of level yeah. of protection there because otherwise, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right. Uh, and, and, you know, that's the thing. It's, this technology, what's interesting that you brought up is that this technology isn't, isn't new. Um, a fun fact, APC, we introduced our first UPS in 1984. That is nearly wow. 40 years. Yeah, 40 years, right? 40 years. That, I, 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 I don't know about you, but I, I wasn't alive 40 years ago. <laughs> Definitely um, not. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this tech is older than us. And just to think, like this tech was, yeah. was kind of around the birth, uh, some of the birth of of, of CPU, compute, computing power. Um, and to think wow, that this tech yeah. has been around that long, and we've been in that industry close to that long. We've been and, and we've been in a lot of Fortune 500 companies. We've been in the IT space, the racks, the edge computing. I mean, we've been in, we're, we're in hospitals. Where even at the grocery stores, you can see our products like giving backup power to the cash registers. Just so you know, if the there's a little power outage, you know, you, people can still check out and everything. And we even have our personal portfolio. I mean, that we're we're in a lot of people's homes to keep their internet running. And we have like I mean, we have the entry entry models, and then we have up to our backups pro models that are a little bit more runtime, more sophisticated. We'll go into that a little bit later. But it's it's, it's interesting that you know originally it's essentially a black box under your desk, right? Mm -hmm. And we, 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 
we were like, all right, well, we want to introduce something for gamers. Like, well, what does that mean, right? First of all, we don't want it to be this, 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 this kind of black thing, black box that's under the desk and you kind of want to hide it away or in a closet. We want it to be aesthetically pleasing. And that's why we are introducing the Backups Pro Gaming UPS. Now, this has a, a breadth of features and, and I'd like just, just to kind of bounce off you, Austin, like, like what, what do you think, what, what's, what's your vision of, I guess, what a gaming UPS would be and how, how, how can it affect you and your gaming? Yeah, so, I mean, I think, first and foremost, it's got to have RGB, right? I mean, it's not a gaming accessory. It doesn't have <laughs> RGB. Yeah, yeah. I think beyond that. Exactly. <laughs> I hope that, like, the, the designer's like, okay, what's number one thing? Mm, RGB, okay, we can do that. Um, but, Check. <laughs> but I also think that it's something that needs to aesthetically look good beyond just purely the lighting, right? I think it's important for something that, right. especially, like you said, you don't want it just to be a black box that's sitting underneath the cabinet because you're not going to think about it, right? So ideally, you have something that actually will give you some information, right? So whether the power has gone out, whether you had a, a surge or, or whatever the case is, having some of that come through and also making sure that it has enough power to handle some of these very high power accessories in gaming gear that we use, right? And you look at consoles, you look at a lot of PCs, they can have some serious power draw, right? So you want to make sure that at least not only yep. will it work, but it will work for more than 15 seconds, right? Because who knows how long the match you're in is, who knows how long the Zoom call you're in is, whatever the case is, you want to make sure that you have that level of protection. Right. And, and I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up too, because what is a game? That, that's, that's the biggest one of the biggest questions I've been asked uh, last year was, you know, there's the UPS and then there's the, there's a the gaming UPS. What's the difference? RGB, yes, check. But it's not just RGB, and I'll get into that. It's more functioning. But we, we hear, we, we shout, protected, connected, and in the game. Now, protected, that's a big part, right? We have search protection. We have equipment protection plan, too, up to $150,000 for warranty. So it's kind of very similar to an insurance policy. And it has, you know, it can protect you from brownouts and surges, voltage spikes and all that. Also has AVR, which is part of the protection, too. Uh, automatic voltage uh, regulator, re regulation. So pretty much if the voltage goes too high or too low, that UPS will help it stabilize, especially when you have sensitive high-end, uh, when you're high-end gaming gear and it's sensitive equipment, it keeps it that. But, so that's protected. And we've connected, like you said, that backup, that battery backup component where, you know, stay, it keeps you live, it keeps you connected or in the, ga uh, in the game or keeps you playing or connected to loved ones and everything. Uh, but there's the last piece, which is in the game. And now, and I, I, we, we took that strongly because we were like, what does it mean to be in the game? Now, when, when we talk about the reactor circle, as we look here at the top, there's the, this there's slant, it's 160 degree slant. We picked that because we wanted this at a glance feature, right? We want to make sure that while you're playing, you can, you can see at the corner of your eye. You can, you, can, you can see it 20 feet away in your living room for your gaming setup. You can, you can see it like if it's up above on your desk, left to your monitors, below your desk. You can see this reactor circle almost anywhere. And that's what at a glance means. And what we call by that function LED, uh, when, when, when there's a voltage or there's a spike or it's protecting your server, it actually, it actually pulsates a little bit. So we, we want we took that we took that kind of person. We want to make sure that gamers can stay in the game and and know the information at a glance. Because like you know, like how 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 can games get really uh what would you call uh high peak, high intensity, like a lot of communication going on. Like, you 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 know, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I think it's one of those things where you gotta make yeah. sure that you're fully in it. Cause like we were talking about earlier, no one can tell if you're rage quitting or your power just went out. Right. And especially when you think about right. like some of the right. things I've actually had, like, so we do a lot of like PC builds. I've had PC builds that are especially like powerful, right. Yeah. You know, they, they take a lot and I've had like dirty power cause issues, right. Where like search protector or not search protectors, mm -hmm. but rather the actual power supplies would be tripping because like you were saying that power wasn't quite clean, especially when you get into some of the more like high end systems. So there's a lot of right. reasons yeah. why something like this yeah. can be really helpful. Great, yeah, and now we are in the game. So let's let's, let's get All going, right. and we'll, we'll I'll still talk about this gaming UPS. And 
here's the thing too, and like, and you hit it. You also hit the nail on the head there, right? When you're building PCs, now I'm a, I'm an avid I'm an avid builder. I know you uh, you are too as uh, your YouTube YouTube channel. You're building some ultimate rigs, which is pretty awesome, man. Like I was like, what? It inspired me to uh to, to kick <laughs> up my rig up uh, up a couple notches. Um, but believe it or not, nice, I, nice. I know you're aware of. I know you're aware of um, updating uh, your firmware in, uh, in, 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 with the, mm -hmm. in your BIOS, right, for your motherboard. And, and I'm yes. sure you know that if, if we run out of power, if you lose power in the middle of a flash or you're upgrading your BIOS, uh, you, we can look at some serious oh, problems. game over. Absolutely. Game over. Yeah, no, no, no 1,000%, right? Yeah. So I think that's one of the things that I've oh. thankfully never had that issue happen to me, but I've come close. I've had multiple times uh -huh. where I was updating a BIOS on a system and it, oh, it was like, it was like so, so scary because like it's one of those things where you can't just like flash another BIOS, throw something in, right? You got to make sure that it's actually being fully protected. And oftentimes if you're using like a laptop or something, it has that built-in battery, but guess what? That's not really an advantage that yep. you have on the desktop side. Oh, I'm going to need some help right. here. Right. I need okay. you to carry the team. Oh, where, where are you, man? <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, I'm not good. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, I believe in you. So, uh, uh, yeah. Um, so that's the thing too. It's just that you know, it, it's happened. We, we've read reports where people were were you know updating motherboards, updating firmware, and everything. Um, and you know, power cuts out, and that's it. Game over. Uh. So that's yeah. kind of that's something that you know, like just, ha just for an avid PC builder, it's very important to have, like just just a backup power there. And uh, we kind of want to do absolutely something a little. F we gotta do something a little fun, Austin. I'm gonna live. Okay. I want to do a live demo of our gaming UPS. So we're gonna pull the plug. Oh. Are you ready? Are you actually? Yeah. What happens if the stream yeah. cuts? Oh yeah, we're gonna pull the plug. <laughs> uh, All right. It won't. It won't. All right. So what we're okay. gonna have here I like the is confidence. Um, we're, we're gonna have my colleague here. I'm gonna give him a countdown, and he's gonna unplug it. We're gonna do it in five. Okay. Four, three, two, one. All right. Woo okay. Oh, we, you still hear me? Well, uh, yes. We me, just right? lost, but that is completely okay. unrelated. Yes, <laughs> you look and sound great. Yeah, exactly. We lost. But hey, we were we're still in the game here, and if you notice, if you, if you look into that, uh, you see that light is pulsing. If you zoom in on that, that that light is pulsing right. That means that we are on backup power now. It, and I think if you hear it carefully, there's a little beep going on. That's tell that's letting us know that there is that utility power is no longer there, and we are running off battery backup power. Now, like I said, at a glance, I can see it from here, literally at the corner of my eye, I can see that reactor circle. And it's important, in, in the back, we have 10, 10 outlets, right? We have six battery backup outlets, and we have four surge protected only outlets. And the reason I mention that is because if you notice, one of my monitors are off, right? One of my monitors mm -hmm. are off because I only plugged in the essentials. I only plugged in the essential, like my, my computer, my router, and the one screen I need for gaming. My secondary monitor, it doesn't really matter. I plugged that on the surge only outlet, with one of the four surge only outlets, protected outlets. And the, for the six battery backup outlets and surge protection, I plug in my router, my monitor, and my, um, my gaming rig. So though, that's what's important, because depending how much power draw is coming from that battery, also dictates how much game time you have and if you're not and yeah. if, if if you're plugging way too many things and it could it, you could you could you could draw too much power too quickly so that's kind of something important to, to keep in mind uh, when when you're you're plugging devices in so right now as you say right. we it's timing down a little bit right now austin oh. have, have you seen something like how this? many minutes do you have there have you seen so right now, if, if we do, if we hit never the, in the, we hit the button here. Right now, since we're not running a game, we actually have 14 minutes because we're not running a game. And that's something that, that's wow. one thing I wanted to bring up too is that, yeah, that if you're running a game, that's awesome. It draw, that GPU is drawing way more power. That GPU is drawing power the, and, and it's actually reducing your runtime. So believe it or not, if a GPU is running 
or your CPU if you're over, I know those overclockers, I'm an overclocker myself. If you're overclocking, <laughs> it draws more power. If it draws more power, it, it, it cuts into your runtime a little bit. So now that we, um, that now you've seen a live demo of this product going off, maybe I can ask a, a colleague to, um, to plug it back in. Yeah, thank you. Oh, That's we, really we cool, though, man. Awesome. It's I mean, really cool because we were, we were gaming. I was, I was playing. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's great. No, it's super cool. I think one of the nice things about this is that it gives you that peace of mind, right? So obviously, I mean, that match didn't last long, thanks to yours truly. But yeah. you can imagine, I mean, certainly <laughs> there are games that you can be in it for 20, 30 minutes per match, right? And if I'm 28 minutes mm -hmm. into my 30-minute match and the power goes out... I'm going to be upset, but if you have even just a few minutes, I mean, even if I could take two or three minutes to be able to have that protection, it's a huge deal, right? And you're right. It obviously does base, uh, it is completely based on what kind of gear you have plugged in, right? So as a desktop PC user, usually you'll just run everything overclocked and everything. And at no point am I ever going to turn down yep. my overclock. I'd rather just finish the game faster, but it is an important <laughs> thing to think about. I love yeah. the idea that you didn't plug that second yeah. monitor in, right? Because it's something that if that goes yeah. out, you're fine, right? But you want to keep as much of that available for your PC, which is obviously the most important thing. Things, of course, like your router and whatnot. It makes a lot of sense, but I like the idea that you also have the other search protected outlets there too. So it all can still be nicely neat uh, and contained and cable managed and whatnot. But also you have the protection for the devices that need it and you have the longevity for the devices that really need it. Right, right, exactly, and that's an, and that's important. We didn't want to make all the outlets battery backup because we wanted to give the option that you know, like the non-essential items, like maybe like a printer or like a second monitor, or um, you know, a paper shredder. You can you can plug it in there, and it's it's not essential. I mean, I don't know some people are shredding papers <laughs> with backup power. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know about that. But, I gotta um, keep my printer online. Yeah, you want to put? <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep my print. I gotta print this right. So. <laughs> and and I, I wanted to drive like like kind of like the benefits, not just for gamers, but for 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 those who are watching. Uh, a, ba a battery backup power is, is important. It's important for I guess reputation. Yeah. Gamers have reputation, and so do you. I mean, as, as a business, as you have clients and everything. When we're talking about competitive SR, I guess for those that are watching, uh, it's very similar to let's say um, you have an important meeting with your client, and they ask you a hard question like. Hey, what, hey, 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 bud, what happened to those Q4 numbers? Why, why are they 40% uh, low? And then power cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> At the most. Wait, wait, this is a great idea. Wait, wait, I'm going to, oh, I've, 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 now everyone knows I'm going to have one of these things. I, I'll be able to just like, oh, my power went out. I, I don't know what happened, but I have okay. no excuse now. Exactly. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Hey, 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 we got your back, right? But yeah, it's and, and <laughs> something like that, like an important client, they think you might, your power goes out, they think you might be avoiding the question. You'd be like, Tom, this is the fifth time that's happened. All right, come on, what's going on here? But, um, but it's the same thing with gamers. It, it, important clients, they don't know. And, and same thing with games. There's no way games can know. And it's not the game, it's not the game or the game developer's fault. There's no way they can know if, if you, like, like, uh, like Austin, you said it earlier, whether you rage quit or you just lost power. There's no way for them to know, and there's no, and there's no way yep. to tell. So, um, and even your team, you want to be there for your team. You want to be there for your reputation. I've had, I've played a lot of comp matches where a person just leaves, right? We all lose. We all lose if that person leaves. We all lose. Yeah. And, and we immediately start reporting that person because even in the gaming world, you have a reputation. People can report you. Um, so there are, so there are mm -hmm. some really good benefits here advantages of having a battery backup power to keep you in the game but to keep your reputation up and and and, and those are some things that yeah. I, I, what I find important yeah and I think it's also it's so important for like maybe it might seem like more boring and obviously the being right on the end of the Q4 question is maybe uh, not the most likely scenario <laughs> in the world but again we spend so much time at our work from home or our school from home setups, right? That it's important to keep this stuff up and running, right? Who knows? I mean, there are less exciting possibilities. Like what if you're, you know, you're finishing up a, a, an application and you don't have the opportunity to save it, right? Or there's all kinds of these things, yeah. or even in the video editing space, right? If I have five minutes, if I'm editing yeah. a, a video, if I have five minutes to save, close things down, wrap it up, it's nice to have that protection for all kinds of things. And cause you never know, right? Like you could be completely fine, power is no problem, or tomorrow, 
It could be out like that. And having some kind of backup, having some kind of that support so that you know that you don't have to stress, you don't have to worry, you get the, you know, it'll, it'll beep at you, it'll let you know what's going on, start saving things, start exiting, say goodbye to everyone on the call, whatever the case is, at least you have that <clears> peace of yeah. mind. And I think for me, that's the most important thing. It's so nice to be able to have that peace of mind, not only for all the areas that we know and expect, like the servers and all the, the cash registers and you know, all these important critical things yeah. and infrastructure yeah. everywhere. But importantly, now all of that technology is now coming down to a more mainstream level where I can be playing a game of Overwatch and know that when I rage quit, it's an actual rage quit and not the power of his <laughs> completely failed me. You're right. Yeah, exactly. So here, hey, I have a little fun game. We can play. We're not playing Overwatch. Okay. But I have a little power outage game, right? Bizarre, right? What's bizarre okay. power outages? I'm going to give you three options and you're going to guess <sighs> Okay. which one maybe. All right, ready? Three options. Here we go. A bicycle right. chain, a bookshelf, or a lamp. And one of these have, has caused the power outage. One of these have caused a power outage. Which one? The, uh, I mean, I would naturally think the lamp because it's the only thing that is connected to power. Yeah. Fair, okay. But it's <laughs> I thought you were going to have like, some crazy twit question. A bicycle chain. <laughs> a bicycle chain. Yeah, it was. What do you mean? Uh, Wait, in, what? Yeah, uh, 23. Yeah, a bicycle chain. In 2013, apparently on Father's Day, there was a prank. Someone grabbed a bicycle chain and threw it into a utility power system. And it shut the power off for hours for over 1,500 residents. Over a prank. Oh. Yep. Yo, I've yep. heard of like things like like balloons, like the like the the metallic balloons hitting yep. power lines and causing problems. But a chain, I I could definitely believe that would do yeah, it. What a questionable idea. <laughs> yeah, quite, very questionable. Like, like Happy Father's Day. How, you, dude, how about the the people that have to respond to that on Father's Day or or yeah, you know, I'm just like yeah. that's oh man, that's what a way. Okay. All right, another one, another one. Ready? Flies, right. locust. Termites. Hmm. I don't think flies. I think flies is too. They're too small. I don't think they're gonna cause a problem. Um, locusts are a big deal. I think if you ever seen like a swarm of locusts, I could believe that would like cause a problem. I'm gonna say locusts. Believe it or not, termites. It's a big problem in Taiwan. Oh. I guess there's a lot of termites that. It's a very humid environment. Termites go in, and they have, they've actually bit into utility cables or utility power lines. They have actually bite into it and actually have caused power outages. Termites. Wow, oh, that's crazy. When you first said that, I was thinking like, oh, maybe like termites like ate the pole and the pole fell down or something. But you're talking about the termites actually bite the line itself. Yep, yep they'll bite the line itself. Yeah, they'll eat into it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, okay, what, that's, that's disturbing. What I thought termites were tiny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, we man, get a bunch of them. Well. Like you know, you know, yeah. All right, so we have we're coming down. We have one more question for you. How much power? Since okay. we're talking about the Series X, how much power do you think it draws? Forty-five watts or one hundred and sixty-five watts? I actually know the answer to this. It's one hundred and sixty-five watts because I did an entire video taking a look at the thermals of yes. the Series X and how hot it gets, and I did some yes. dumb things to try to overheat it. So yes, I do know that one at least. It's a lot of power. These things are Ooh. not super low wattage. You got you need a lot of power to right. run these high-end gaming gear. Yeah, <laughs> and that's great. And but uh, one thing is to it, forty-five watts would have been the right answer as well. They're both right. And the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people are asking, how do I how do I gauge power draw, right? And, and they'll go online, they'll, they'll see 45 watts. They think it's 45 watts, but 45 watts is the bottom of the range, and that's when it's idling. Like I said earlier, if you're playing a game and you're drawing that processing power, it's going to go up to 165. So keep that in mind when you're plugging devices in. And the game, like I said, the gaming UPS will show you live how much runtime you have. So a fun fact. Rad. All right. So No, that's super cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Austin Evans, for, for coming on. So this, thank you everyone for watching. We are, this is the Backups Pro Gaming. We'll keep you protected, connected, and in the game. If you want to go on the Schneider Electric CES portal, you can purchase one of these today. 
And Austin, it, he, you've been awesome. Thank you for jumping on. Anyone that wants to see Austin, go to Thanks his YouTube me. channel, YouTube forward slash Austin Evans, and his Twitter, Austin, not Duncan. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. Please enjoy the rest of CS 2021.